February 26th, Missouri Baptist Medical Center unveiled its newly renovated Breast Healthcare Center, which not only offers a spa-like atmosphere, but is one of only a few hospitals in Missouri offering 3D mammography. And here with us from MoBab's Breast Healthcare Center is Program Manager Stephanie Johnson. Stephanie, welcome. Thanks Hi. for coming. Thank you for having me. So this me. is a, a big, exciting new development out at the hospital. Yes, we're very excited. Yeah. The so, space is beautiful. Yeah, so tell me now, why did Missouri Baptist um, decide to renovate the breast center? So we really needed, we needed more space. We were growing and uh, we also wanted to improve the care that we provide our patients, give them a very comprehensive care and um, make it make it flow. May, I mean, if you have to come for a mammogram, you might as well make, focus on the comfort right. and make it as easy as possible. So it's an enticing way to get people to right. make, that, make that visit mm -hmm. every year or whenever they need to go right. and to, to be a welcoming atmosphere. Right. It's very comfortable. Yeah. So what's different? I mean, obviously mm -hmm. it's the atmosphere, the ambiance, that kind of thing. What about technology? Well, so we, I'm very excited about the technology. We have state-of-the-art technology in 3D mammography, and what that does is it gives our radiologists the um, opportunity to look at um, breast tissue mm -hmm. in layers instead of just a solid picture. And it, they're able to pick up very subtle changes in the tissue, um, and you know, if they can catch it and um, treat it, then the earlier you treat something or catch something, mm -hmm. the better the outcome is. So is the 3D technology something new or is it, has it been? In the so it, it is relatively new. The, it was approved by the FDA in 2011. We are actually one of the first hospitals to have 3D technology. Mm -hmm. And now it's our standard of care. So, you know, for no matter why you come in, so everybody walking in the door, everybody they walking that. in, you don't have to have a pre-existing condition or anything right. like that or right. any risk factors. Everybody. And it really is just—it's so much more sensitive. It gives it gives us the opportunity to really uh, see so much more detail in the annual screening. Mm -hmm. You know, and then year after year, we can compare the films and again we can really pick up on very, very subtle changes. Okay, so that brings up a really mm -hmm. uh, a question that's always in my mind. Mm -hmm. And you, we're told to go for the, the annual exam, the, the, the mammogram, but is it important that we go to the same place? Because you're talking about a, your staff is looking at year mm -hmm. after year, so yes. that implies to me that we need to be going back to the same location. Yes. So come to Missouri Baptist, come to the Breast Health Care Center, and we really want to take care of you at, you know, starting at age 40, okay. then come back every year, and really, it, it, we do. We, we, we look at all the previous films, and we evaluate, we, we do an evaluation year after year. Okay, so when you go in for um, the annual exam, mm -hmm. so starting at age 40 mm -hmm. is when you should go in for right. the first baseline mm -hmm. exam, and then every year after that? Every year. Every yes. year. Okay, forever. Forever, yeah. Okay. okay, that's a lot of <laughs> yes. years. All right, let's hope that's a lot of years. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so you go in, and um, mm -hmm. so automatically then what you're saying, this is actually, I didn't know, know this, you're the, um, the technician or the doctor is looking at every year before that. So if you've been going to, the, to Missouri Baptist for five years, then they're looking every time, every year at the five-year history. Absolutely. Look for any changes. Yes. So it might be mm -hmm. a subtle change or something different. Mm -hmm. That. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it's very important, and uh, you know, it's um, it's so important because I think I think that women think, well, if I didn't make it this year, but I'll go next year. But really, it's it's one of those things that you just you need to just do it. Okay, so but what if a woman forgets or mm -hmm. her whatever her circumstances don't allow her to go one mm -hmm. year, and she misses? Should she go? I mean, is it, oh, it's better. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's better to just go just than go, right. Not, right. So even if she's been two years, mm -hmm. let's hope it's right. not, but they'll right. look back two years. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. They'll look at any of the previous films. And we can actually even, you know, if, we, if, we, if you've had a mammogram at another facility, then we can request those, those films because we still want to do that comparison. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
So it's okay if you switch around or switch well, to Missouri Baptist. Not switch we around. Want, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we want you to come but, to Missouri but Baptist. But if you're going to another yeah. location and maybe yeah. Missouri Baptist has what you need, the, you're interested in the 3D technology mm -hmm. or the location or whatever, mm -hmm. um, the reason it's okay and you'll get the films from the other. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And you know, the reason, the other reason, another reason why you could come to Missouri Baptist, why it's such a great idea is because we have an incredibly talented staff. So our mammography technologists, have years of experience and are really specialists at what they do. Okay, we're going to talk more about that mm -hmm. in just a minute. We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned for more STS TV Live. We have more with Stephanie Johnson and Missouri Baptist Medical Center's Breast Health Care Center after this break. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 